IS New Zealand, a place with beautiful and unique scenery, culture, and wildlife. The variety of unique species is surprising, ranging from alpine parrots to living dinosaurs, not to mention the marine life that thrives in New Zealand's oceans, such as the world's tiniest dolphins and adorable fur seals. Trust us when we say that the diversity of New Zealand native animals will astound you. Before we begin, be sure to hit that like button. Now, here are 10 weird animals only found in New Zealand. Number 10. Yellow-Eyed Penguin The yellow-eyed penguin, or in the native dialect, hoiho, is a penguin species that is one of the world's rarest, with only an estimated population of 6,000 to 7,000. However, the number of breeding pairs of hoiho, which is estimated to be only 630, is a crucial statistic. The hoiho gets its name from the yellow markings on its eyes and head, the largest penguin to breed on the mainland. The yellow-eyed penguin is a tall, thick-set bird that can make a loud cry but prefers to stay quiet. Yellow-eyed penguins can be found in New Zealand's southeast on Banks Peninsula and Stewart Island. They are one of the six groups of penguins that can be found in this beautiful country and its neighboring islands. The number of yellow-eyed penguin nests have dropped dramatically in recent years, owing largely to human activity in their natural habitats. Number 9. Weta The Weta are fascinating invertebrates that have existed since the beginning of recorded history. In the wild, Weta, which means god of ugly things in the language of the indigenous Maori are mostly herbivorous and they've been known to consume insects. They are active at night and can be found in a variety of environments such as grasslands, shrublands, woodlands, and caves. They dig holes under stones and rotting logs and in trees, or they live in pre-made nests. The weta may cause painful wounds that can become infected, but their defense displays consist of being large and spiky, and they will flee if given the opportunity. The elongated bodies, spiny legs, and curved tusks of these creatures differ in sizes. Different species of the Weta are still being found and discovered today, in which the most recent discoveries were made just under 30 years ago. There are a total of 70 recognized Weta species, with 16 of them being endangered. The Weta are found primarily on small islands off the coast of the main islands or at high elevation on New Zealand's South Island. Number 8. Tuatra Tuatras are the only remaining dinosaur-era reptile species, earning them the moniker Living Dinosaur. Despite their moniker as Living Dinosaurs, the Tuatra is only about two feet long and looks more like a tiny dragon. The Tuatra is not only a totally unique New Zealand mammal, but it's also the last living member of the Svenadontia gen. On top of that, Tuatras have a third eye that can be found at the top of their heads. Tuatras live in burrows on foggy offshore islands that are frequently shared with seabirds. The Tuatra are noted for their peculiar existence, preferring cool climactic conditions of less than 25 degrees Celsius or 77 degrees Fahrenheit. They live in dense colonies separated by 2 to 3 meters between burrows. Both the males and the females are territorial. They aren't endangered right now, but their small range puts them at risk. The Tuatra are threatened by the black market reptile trade in addition to natural and introduced predators as well as habitat destruction. A single Tuatra will fetch more than $40,000 in the illegal pet trade. Many Tuatra have been bred in captivity due to scientific interest. They can be found on around 35 islands in New Zealand, and seven of these islands are in Cook Strait between Wellington on the southern edge of the North Island and Marlborough, Nelson at the tip of the South Island. Number 7. Short-Tailed Bat Short-Tailed Bats, also known as Pekka Pekka in Maori folklore, are New Zealand's only native land mammal, giving them a special place in the ecosystem. Unfortunately, these fascinating animals are in serious danger of extinction. Short-tailed bats can be found in native forests where they roost in hollow trees, either alone or in groups. The male bats fight for traditional singing posts and sing to attract a female, making some think that they're leek breeders. The short-tailed bat has adapted to ground hunting unlike other bats that capture their prey in the air. It's one of the few bats on the planet that spends a lot of time on the ground scrambling about with its folded wings as front limbs. Three subspecies of the lesser short-tailed bat can be found in Northland, 
portions of the Central North Island, Taranakai, and the Northwest Nelson and Fiordland regions of the South Island. Another bat species, the greater short-tailed bat, is thought to be extinct with the last sighting occurring in 1967. Number 6. Otego Skink Skinks are tiny, slender lizards that are classified in nine different species and is one of the two rarest reptiles in New Zealand. Plague skinks are usually found in moist environments and can be found hiding in vegetation, litter, rocks, and logs. The Otega skink is one of the largest, reaching up to 300 millimeters in length or 11.8 inches. The Otega skink, unlike most lizards, does not hybrate and is omnivorous and diurnal. These skinks are black with yellow, green, or gray blotches that can live for up to 20 years. Almost half of the skinks and geckos in New Zealand are threatened and endangered, according to the hazard classification scheme. Despite this, native lizards have received less recognition and funding than birds and other endangered species. The species can be found in small sections of the Otago region, especially around the Macrae's flat area, as its name suggests. We're now halfway through our video. If you're still with us, comment New Zealand down below. On to number five, the New Zealand fur seal. New Zealand fur seals, also known as Kakino in the Maori language, were once hunted for their meat, but they are now a protected species in the country. Fur seals can be found on rocky beaches all over New Zealand, including the mainland, the Chatham Islands, and the sub-Antarctic islands, including Macquarie Island. They're also present in South Australia, Western Australia, and Tasmania, to name a few places. Although the seals can appear to be harmless, they are capable of inflicting severe injury on dogs and humans as well as carrying infectious diseases. Fur seals in New Zealand, like other marine animals, are predators, meaning they prey and kill to survive. Aggression is a natural part of their personality. Fur seals are also known to venture into people's backyards despite their preference for the coast. Number four, Tui. The Tui is a popular New Zealand bird species that can be found in most of New Zealand's natural forested areas. The species' formal name is Tui, which comes from the Maori language named Tui. It is mainly black plumage with blue streaks and two white feathers under its belly. Their bodies slant forward in flight with the head higher than the tail, and their noisy, whirring flight is punctuated by quick guides. The Tui has an odd voice similar to a robot and you're likely to hear it before you see it. They have a complex vocal blend of tuneful notes interspersed with coughs, grunts, and wheezes. Tuis are known for being aggressive and will protect a flowering or fruiting tree or a small section of a larger tree from all comers, whether another tui or another bird species. They use their noisy, whirring wings to scare other birds away from their feeding territories. The tui is considered to be very intelligent, much like parrots, and resembles the parrot its ability to clearly imitate human speech. Number 3. Hamilton's Frog One of the rarest frogs in the world, these frogs don't croak. The majority of Hamilton's frogs are brown, with a dark brown and black stripe running the length of the head and going through the eye on either side, and they're nocturnal. Hamilton's frogs have round eyes, unlike most frogs who have split-like pupils. It takes three years for them to achieve full maturity with no tadpole stage. These frogs are insectivores, which means that they eat insects such as fruit flies, small crickets, moths, and springtails. It takes three years for them to achieve full maturity. Sad to say that they are critically endangered, with just 300 specimens left on Stevens Island, a small island in the Cook Strait. Number 2. Hector's Dolphin Hector's dolphins are the world's tiniest and most endangered marine dolphins. Hector's dolphins are the world's tiniest and most endangered marine dolphins with their population thought to be only around 10,000. They are New Zealand's only dolphins with a rounded black dorsal fin. They were named after Sir James Hector, who examined the first dolphin specimen that was found. They have a distinct gray body with white and black markings and a short snout and a Mickey Mouse-shaped dorsal fin. Adult Hector's dolphins on the South Island rarely reach 1.5 meters in length and weigh between 40 and 60 kilograms. Males are a smidgen lighter and smaller than females. These dolphins have been known to live up to 20 years. Like other dolphins, they use echolocation to locate food. They emit high-frequency clicks, which bounce off nearby objects and fish, providing the dolphins with a clear image of their surroundings. They are only found along the western shores of New Zealand's North Island, in shallow coastal waters, and they can be found swimming in small groups in the Mankau and 
Hypara Harbors, as well as Port Waikato, Mauganai Bluff, and Wanganui. It is said that the Maui dolphins, which is subspecies of Hector's dolphin, are on the verge of extinction, with an estimated population of only 55 dolphins left. You're nearly at the end of our video. Before we continue, make sure you're subscribed. That way, you'll always be notified of our future videos. On to number one, the kiwi. The kiwi bird is the national symbol of New Zealand and is perhaps the most well-known of all the country's wildlife. Kiwis are a national treasure, Teanga, to the Maori people. The kiwi bird has tiny wings but cannot fly and has loose feathers that are more like fur. Unlike other birds, the kiwi's feathers molt throughout the year. The kiwi bird lacks tail feathers but does have cat-like whiskers. While worms are the main source of food for kiwis, they also eat wood lice millipedes, centipedes, slugs, snails, spiders, insects, seeds, berries, and plant material. You won't find them roaming the streets, though. The majority of these nocturnal birds lived in forested areas. They only emerge from their nests after dark to hunt for insects, grubs, earthworms, fallen fruit, and native plants. There are five distinct species of kiwi, and the bird is constantly protected from extinction due to its strong cultural presence. Hey, thanks for watching! Want to suggest a video or have something to say? Let us know in the comments section below. Check out our wildlife playlist for more videos like this one.